Thomas will tee it up at the PGA Professional National Championship in just over a week's time, but I see three to four hybrids or utility irons in here, so Thomas has some decisions to make at the top of his bag, and that's what you will see in this video today. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're back in his golf barn for some final stages of prep for the PGA Professional National Championship. For those who don't know or haven't been following the series, uh, Thomas is aiming for a top 20 finish. Actually, you're aiming for higher than that, but a top 20 finish uh, ensures a qualification into the PGA Championship this May. So uh, with that said, Thomas, I'm looking at your bag here and I see one, two, three hybrid head covers. I see a utility iron. Something doesn't add up there because there's that's more hybrids than I usually <laughs> see in a golf bag. So uh, walk me through what you're dealing with here and what you know decision we have. Yeah, so first off, it's, it's April. And unfortunately, we're inside. Right. Minnesota weather has let us down again. Yep. Um, but luckily, I got the chance to fly down to Austin, Texas. I played two rounds. I played on the Fazio Foothills and the Core Crenshaw Golf Courses. And what I found is I'm going to have a lot of shots from like 230 to 270, okay. well, actually a lot of 250 yard shots that I need to really dial in and make sure that I'm nice and consistent with. Okay. Um, so as you mentioned, there's a lot of head covers in there. Yeah. There's too many clubs in the bag right now. I think there's 16 clubs. In the past, I have played the Cobra King Utility. Um, that has been in the bag. You know, I've hit it pretty good, but at times it's been a little inconsistent at the time. I like the fact that it is adjustable. So I've yeah. been able to adjust where based on distances a little bit and fine tune the, the shot that I'm trying to hit. But I've noticed that I've just started to kind of like hybrids a little bit more. And as we talk about that Callaway Apex UW, UW is oh, yeah. obviously it's not really a hybrid, but it's not a fairy wood either. Yeah. And that's going to be in the bag. So that's mm -hmm. going to be my new three wood. Okay. I've had success with it outside, inside. It's a rocket. Mm -hmm. Freaking goals. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, we noticed in testing, yeah. it was, I mean, it was keeping up or even exceeding your three wood distances. Yeah. So that's awesome to see that in the bag. That's actually insane, really. You, you know, it's a 17 degree club, I believe. Right. And it's still, you know, smoking it out there compared to a 15 degree or even lower loft right. than that, a three yep. wood. So now I see a Cobra King Tech and I see another Callaway Apex hybrid. So that must be part of the other decision there to uh, gap your bag. Right, so yeah, so I've got these three clubs that we need to really get down to one. Okay. Because right now I got 16, I got to get down to 14. I'm kind of leaning towards these two. Okay. I'm kind of leaning towards, I'm about 70% sure I'm probably going to kick this one out for okay. now. Um, but I wanted to see what distances they're going. I want to see also how they gap in the bag too. So I do want to start out by hitting some, some drivers, hitting some four irons taking a look and see what distance they're going and see how I'm going to gap everything else sure. against those other clubs. Sure, sure. Well, uh, let's get started here. Ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, that was four iron and driver. So looking through the numbers here, uh, initially, what did you see? I mean, I see, you know, what, 70 to 80 yards kind of of gapping you got to figure out here. Right, yeah, and four iron was basically 220 going 240. Mm -hmm. It's usually what I usually expect out of my, out of my four iron. Um, driver, it's kind of sneaking up there, which is kind of impressive, swinging about 111, 112 miles an hour, mm -hmm. but getting 295 carry, which is I'm pretty happy with, Yeah. Uh, going 317. So. It's nice to get that little extra distance um, when, I, when I need it. That way I'm going to have some shorter shots into the greens and we'll definitely dial in my wedge game mm -hmm. in another video. Yeah, so looking at this gap here, so we're talking about carry about 222 to 295 and then total 240 to 318. So, I mean, do you have numbers in mind that you're trying to have, you know, with the clubs in between now? Or are you going to kind of just test and see what they are? Or what, like, how are you approaching this here? It seemed like I had a lot of distances that I would want to hit the club about 250 to 260. Okay. A, a lot of distances in there, but stopping power would be nice. 
Okay. Uh, and that's one thing I know is with the driving iron just flies on a little lower trajectory. Right. It's great off the tee, but if I'm trying to get that ball to stop on the green on a par five, that's, you know, I don't know, five, 35, 50 yards mm -hmm. and I've got that second shot in, it would be nice to, you know, nice to give myself a good chance of stopping it. Sure. Um, and then also I mentioned a lot of the tee shots down there uh, elevated. Um, so I don't even need so much that, that extra stopping power because the ball is going to run out anyway to go into right. downhill. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. So how is the, what's the order of operations here in terms of hitting a no? You kind of already know you're going to play the Apex Utility. Yeah, and we, so. we can hit the Apex UW just so we can get an idea sure. of what distance. I'm going to guess that it's going to be, it's going to be closer to my driver right. than the hybrid's going to be closer to my forehand. Yeah. But for me, for the course that, courses that I'm playing, 250 to 260 is going to be ideal, and I'm going to guess that Apex UW is probably going to be more closer to 280. Right, right, okay. Yeah. All right, well... Let's hit some more shots then, and we'll see uh, what Trackman tells us. Okay. Hit it well. That's right, though. One by one. It's a little lower on the face, a little spinnier, but hey, I'll take that 265. So that's the Apex UW. You know for sure that's going in the bag. And we can see why, based on what Trackman told us, because you're hitting that thing on average 289 yards total, 265 carry. And so, and you had said this is going to land closer to driver. Um, and it's funny looking at the club, right? That's, it looks like a hybrid, an enlarged hybrid in a way. But it, it's just, it's, it's launching. Like you said, it's a rocket. So that's kind of, is that kind of what you expect or what you were looking for from this club? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's replay I used to play a 13 and a half degree three wood, and this is going just as far, if not even <laughs> a little further. So it's crazy that a 17 degree club, mm -hmm. smaller club as well, is doing mm -hmm. that job. And a lot of it comes down to, yeah, I hit up on the ball with a, with a fairy wood. I just, my, my attack angle yeah. was, was about three or four degrees up, I think it was 3.8 on average. And it's just better contact for me. If yeah. I hit up on it with fairy wood, I'm going to catch a long face, going to spin, and just not get right. much out of it. Right. Yeah. And so, and I'm noticing here, you actually have, what, about 18 yards or so, of, I guess, between carry and total distance, and you're hitting the ball plenty high. So, th I mean, this club, in theory, if you had to get after a, maybe it's a short par four, that's 290 yards or something like that. Yep. You know, this could be a club that you could use for that, or a really long par five where it's 600 yards and you got to get after it in two or have the possibility to get there. A club like that could do that for you. But... Now we're kind of getting into the meat of things, I think, because you were decided on that. Now you have these other three clubs. And based on the numbers here, Thomas, you know, where are you looking to kind of slot that club distance-wise? Right. I mean, based on the numbers, if you were going to split the difference between the, the Apex UW, we've got listed as three wood up there, but that's the 17-degree Apex UW, 268, carry, four iron, 222. Split that in half. We're talking 244 mm -hmm. would be... 244 going 260 would probably be a pretty okay. pr pretty good number. Um, I would be okay with it being just a little bit shorter, knowing that I had a lot of shots 255, 260, yeah. just after seeing the golf course. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'd be curious. To s it's going to be interesting to see because I think these three clubs are very different. Yes. Um, talking about the differences between them. Um, so the King Tech, this is actually a 21. I've turned it down to minus 1.5, so it's okay. actually 19 and a half. Um, so it's, a, it's I actually ordered it plus a quarter an inch in length. The reason for that is when you want to hit a hybrid, sometimes it goes too far. So I wanted to have something going a little bit shorter. Okay. This is club that I've had. I have never really kind of put it in the bag, but I've had it kind of for the last year. So the Apex 320. So it's Apex Pro. Yep. So okay. I might expect this to spin maybe just a little bit less. Looks a little bit more like an iron looking down at. Yeah, yeah. The Cobra looks more like a hybrid looking down at. And then this club, it's you know 19 and a half degrees, so it's the exact same loft as the three utility, um, and it's been great off the tee, but I always haven't hit it great every single time. Yeah, so. yeah. You're, I mean, I know you're looking for maybe a little more consistency there, and you also mentioned at the beginning of the video too that you were looking for more stopping power, uh, you know, the ability to you know attack that green if you need to from 250 yards, yep. and know that it's going to stay on the green, and maybe that utility iron wouldn't quite be the right choice. So. All right, we've got the three clubs. Um, we've got them broken down, and you kind of know what you're looking for. So I guess now it's time to hit the shots and see which one delivers. Sounds good.
than this. There it is. Oh, it's really tucked right in. Yeah, that's the one. So, Thomas, you hit the three clubs. Uh, you're looking at the track my data now. And, I mean, do you have a clear answer? You kind of need to do some more testing. Uh, <laughs> you know, where are you at now after hitting the three options? I mean, this is like a great example of why you get fit for either a driving iron or a hybrid. Yeah. This is, I mean, you take a look at the height difference between the, oh, it's crazy. the, the King Tech hybrid and the King Utility. Um, both of them have 19 and a half degrees of loft on them set at, but you will know it is about 45 feet difference in it's, height. It's crazy. Yeah. So, it's crazy. And it goes to show the MOI and the like how the, de the center of gravity in a golf club makes a huge difference. Yeah. I mean, that's a it's going to make a world of difference with the interaction on the ball landing, whether it's in the fairway or whether that's on the ground. Right. Yeah, and if I could have 15 clubs in the bag, I probably would have 15 <laughs> clubs in the bag because they perform so differently. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that three iron, it, it is a three iron, it's not even a two iron, it's a driving iron, the, the king utility, it's, it was consistent. It was, it mm -hmm. was pretty good. Very, very low. Yeah. Um, so it would, be, it would be great in the wind off the, off the tee. Wouldn't be very good trying to land the ball on the green. Yeah, uh, but it'd be very, very hard because of stopping power. We're talking twenty-six yards for that ball once it hits the ground to stop. Right, and yep. you know, uh, especially going after a green, there's very few you know areas on a golf course when you're attacking the green that you can have that much rollout and still be in a good position. Usually, that ball rolls into the rough, rolls into the bunker, rolls into right. the hazard, and that can be problematic. So, and it's it's interesting looking at this that the you know the the Cobra King Tech Hybrid and then the King Utility. Same loft, the carry distance is actually very similar. Right. They're separated by about a yard and a half, but then that total distance is 15 yards apart. So uh, is, is this, a? I mean, do you, again, with those two clubs, you, know, you also talk about the Apex Pro, which I think maybe went a little further than you were expecting. So, uh, Which is also interesting because there's 20 degrees of loft on it. So right. it's half degrees more, just, just goes. And the exact same golf shaft, uh, this is the Mitsubishi, um, golf shaft, 80 gram X shaft. So they're both with the exact same shaft okay. on the two hybrids. Okay. Um, but the Apex Pro for me, I hit it well. It was just going a little bit too far for what I, for what I need. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm probably going to say that one is probably going to be kind of eliminated from my sure. decision at this, at this yeah. time. Yeah. Because you know, you, the Apex Pro hybrid went an average of 268 total, right? and 250 carry. You talk about the, the gap then that would leave you at four iron, would be 222 carry, 240 total. That's gonna be 25-ish yards yeah. of difference uh, or more, 25 to 30 yards of a gap there where you might be stuck at 250 yards, for example, and you won't really have a shot for that with that club. Right, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's, it's a great club. It just goes too far. Right. And I would probably need the four, mm -hmm. and I don't have the four. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so that one's out. No, that have, was, I hit it pretty well. But, and then the decision uh, comes down to two wildly different clubs, as we've already explained here. Right. I mean, look at the smash factor, 148 with all of them. So, I mean, the difference is, I, it might be depending on the, on the day, honestly. Yeah, on the course. Like, depending on the course. Or the, I, or the in, conditions, too. Right. And the National Club Pro, like, I, I play two different courses the first two rounds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if I know what way the wind's coming on a certain day, I know what kind of shots I'm going to be having. If it's going to be really windy out, I might probably keep the the utility in. Yeah. Um, if it's not going to be very windy out, I'll probably go with the hybrid. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you have some sort of a decision and a game plan in mind now. Right. Because I know, I know, as you were hitting the shots, you were kind of commenting and we were looking at the numbers, and it was that Apex Pro. You're hitting it really well, and it, like you said, really good golf club, great performance, just yep. a little too far. And then we were talking about how wildly different those other two Cobra clubs were. Um, but to your point. If you get down there and it's 20 mile an hour wind, which isn't really uncommon in Texas, right? You could see how that utility iron, which you kind of thought might you might be bringing out of the bag, could still be the right. advantage for you. So yeah, no, it's uh, it's still gonna stay in the bag. It's still gonna travel to Texas. Yeah. Um, I mean, let me pull this up. I I I, I took a look at the dispersion. I know it's a small sample size, but if you take a look at the dispersion here, you can see mm -hmm. carry distance. This red circle was yep. the smallest. We switched this to total distance. Yeah. It's it's hard to it's hard to keep I mean, that out off the tee. If you need that two sixty yeah. shot off the tee, that's the club to go with. Right. right. 
I mean, if you look at you know, carry distance, you can see how the, the red circle and the green circle kind of fit between the white, which is the four iron, mm -hmm. and the blue, which is the Apex UW. So it kind of fits better. Yeah, the, the Apex Pro has gone a little too far. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, mine is this one over here to the right. It was pretty straight. And yeah. It was, it was basically a, a great 270 club. Okay. But then you will take a look here, carry distance and total distance. This is where you see the separation is because that, that three iron is just releasing out with less spin. Mm -hmm. So we're talking spin rate here of about 1100 RPMs less and 45 right, feet in right. height. So it's really gonna depend on, on the day. Yeah, so I mean, they, they accomplish the same distance and that's about the only thing that they have in common, really. Yep. The rest is gonna be all dependent on uh, really the course you're playing and the conditions that day and it'll dictate probably which one goes in the bag for that particular round. So, but this is good to know that, you know, now you have the numbers here and now you know really how different they are and, you know, you kind of know what to expect from those clubs when you need to hit them. In, on any given shot. So. Right, and I was, I'm, I was looking for a 240 yard carry, I said that earlier, that's what I was looking for. Those two are going <laughs> that distance, the utility just chases out more, mm -hmm. and then the, the hybrid, it just has a little better stopping power, it's stopping within 13 yards versus 26. There you so go. It's, it's a big difference, it's well, like half. Yeah, another step forward in your preparation here, Thomas, for sure. Yep. Uh, now, you, I know you got, probably about a week left of prep and we might have one more video in the series here and then it's game time for you. So uh, like I've said before, we're all wishing you luck and we are very much looking forward to following along as well. You've done a lot of great work and I know a lot of the viewers are rooting for you. So uh, great stuff here. We uh, have a bag almost assembled here. So uh, Th Thomas, thanks for having us in here today and kind of showing us your prep a little bit. Uh, I know there's more to come, but uh, thanks for having us in. Not a problem.